So let's play uh, Miniatures Battle without miniatures. This is the Battleground Historical Warfare game on the Second Punic War. Um, got my flat battlefield here with no terrain. Got my Roman army here on my side and on the other side Carthaginian army. So what I've got here is uh, the quick start armies given in the rules. So this is the basic game, cards right out of the basic game. Um, again, this is the exact uh, 1,490 point um, quick start Rome army given on the, the Roman side card. So that's these units here. And likewise on the other side, We've got the quick start uh, Carthaginian army, 1,498 points, made up of Libyan foot, Numidian cavalry, Balearic slingers, Gallic warriors, Scutarii, and Catrati. Um, set up over there. Basically, you know, cavalry on the flanks, <clears throat> heavier, heavier infantry in the rear, heavier and higher quality. Infantry in the rear, lighter stuff in the front. Same on both sides. And now rules-wise, um, I mean, I am jumping right in without any uh, experience here. So I am going right to, all I'm going to cover this time is the quick start rules, which is literally two pages. That's it, quick start rules. It's basically just going to go over the movement and battle fundamentals basics. Um, so let's jump right in. Details will be provided as we go. So who goes first? The Romans roll a four, Carthaginian, Carthaginians roll a five. I guess that means the Carthaginians will go first. Um, okay, basically, first thing the Carthaginian side wants to do is advance their cavalry on both flanks, let's say. Um, so look at the uh, your unit there. And the little boot symbol there gives his movement. Movement is seven inches. Um, what is really nice about this game is that all measurements, so all measurements are given in terms of the, um, the, the short side and the long side of a card. Basically that simple. So you don't really need anything extra, right? So. Okay, so we know that the Numidian Cavalry is going to be traveling 7 inches, right? And we can also go to our little movement category chart, find 7 inches, and that's two long sides of a card, right? So, put our Cavalry back there, like that, and it moves two long sides of a card, right? So basically, you line up two long cards, and boom, that's it. So, same thing on same thing on the other side, like that. So, the Carthaginians do all of their movement, like that, okay? And then, look at our light guys here. So this unit has a movement of five inches. And again, we look at our little chart there, five inches is two short sides, two short sides, so, oops, like that, two short sides, put a short, and a short, and uh, that's his movement. Um, this one also has five inches, the Balearic Slingers, and another cat Trotti also has five inches, so that's that. Uh, heavier guys back here have a 3.5 inch movement, um, so that's a long side, the long side of the card 3.5. There's a <laughs> Long side of the card, you get the idea. All right. All 
right, that's it for movement for the Carthaginians. Um, <clears throat> see, when they're done with their movement, uh, they do all of their firing, and then all units on both sides that are engaged um, attack. So real quickly, let's, let's just look at our light guys in the center here. Again, you look at your, your unit card, everything is on here. The little bow and arrow there, symbol with five inches, that's its range. Uh, five inches is two short sides again. Five inches. Yeah. Um, so, you know, nothing's within range. Okay, still, still that much distance between both sides. So obviously not in range, so that's it. Let's move the uh, the uh, the Romans. Not too different. This cavalry has a six inch movement. Six inches is a long and a short. Long and a short. So short, the long like that. All right, nothing fancy here, just getting into the mechanics. Uh, five inches again is two shorts. For that. Another five inch. Oh, this is a 3.5 inch. Come on, 3.5 inches. Just one long. He starts to fall back there and then. This cavalry also has six inches. All right, so let's do a little bit of moving here. So six inch movement, six inches is uh, again a long and a short. He'll just wheel a bit. Wheel a bit like that. Boom. All right, and the second line, 3.5. That was really inelegant, but here, moved all the units. <clears throat> movement uh, defined by long and short sides of, of a card. Um, let's see what our ranges are. I've got a range of five as well, five and five. Uh, okay, all right. Um, go back to the Carthaginians. Um, Yeah, again, we'll just get right into combat here. So I think the Numidian cavalry here can reach reach the Romans there. Yep, because it has a movement of seven, which is two long sides of a card. So basically they go, they engage, you align um, these very handy dandy red tick marks for lining up cards and everything, so that's nice. So there you go. The Numidians have made contact with the Italian cavalry there. Now here, basically the uh, Carthaginians here only want to move to with, be within um, firing range, really. So, so, um, yeah, okay, so they, they can get within firing range. So, again, five inches, two short sides. Um, can move him up to correspond because they're the same type of unit. The Balearic Slingers, um, they don't have to go up as far because they actually have a range of seven. I think that's the longest range on the table, so they're just going to move up. 
one short side, card side like that. Over here, ooh, now what does the Numidian cavalry want to do? Because the heavier Roman cavalry is starting to wheel out. So we'll say the Numidian cavalry there is just, just going to hold fast. And uh, the Carthaginian second line advance up. Now we have some firing. Um, do firing and then do close combat. Um, so let's start here with uh, that uh, Ketrati. Okay. So put a little. Um, all right. So here is the unit. And they're going to um, do a ranged attack to the Velites here. Okay, so so again, range is uh, five inches, which we'll check in just a minute. Now let's, let's let's do that first. Okay, so range would be uh, front front center mark to any target center mark. So right there, that's almost exactly 3.5 inches or one long side. We already said his range is five, so clearly this unit is, is within range, okay? All right, so he's, in, he's within range. Now let's do some, some fighting here. Put the, the card side by side so we can see. So this is the attacker. This is the target, right? So first, um, the attacker, the, uh, the sword symbol, these are their attack factors. The shield, of course, are defense factors. Um, under the attack, the uh, three in parentheses means three dice are rolled. So the Ketradi, first I'll just right away roll three dice. They get a 5-1-1. One, one. Okay, so do they hit? We go to the next number in the attack area is a five. Basically this is ability to hit, to hit slash the second no number or the third number in the series here is the ability to do damage. So ability to hit and ability to do damage. So we'll take the five and we will subtract the target's defense value. So the Bellites have a one. We'll get to the asterisk later. We're ignoring that for the quick start rules here. So basically has a one slash zero, right? So we take the attackers five, we subtract one for the targets defense of one for four. So four or less will be hits. So right away, we'll take the five away because that was a miss. We have two hits. For two hits, we're gonna roll them again to determine damage. Okay, we got a three and a two. Um, we do the exact same type of thing. We take the four for the, the power of the attacker minus the toughness of the target, which is zero. Four minus zero is four, so four or less is a hit. Boom, we have two hits, right? Now, all of this is gonna be simultaneous, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and use a, a die to mark the unit with two hits and do all the hits later. But that Velite unit has two hits because these were four or less. Um, so that's that. All right, so then we go to the Balearic Slingers. Um, okay, so their range is seven. The seven, seven's right there. Balearic Slingers have a range of seven inches, which is two long sides. So let's see if they can get there. Yeah. So unfortunately, well, actually, I guess that's just beyond, I guess that's just beyond range there. So they are going, they're going to um, fire at the same um, Velites that already took two. So same, exact same situation. The Balearic Slingers also roll three dice. Oh, that's. 
that's not good. Got a five, four, five, six. Um, their their attack is five minus the lights one, so four, so right away five and sixes miss and. Oh, okay, so we got a one, so he definitely got another hit. But but that's the uh, the Belaric Slinger's uh, five minus the Velite's zero. Uh, so five or less is, a, is, is damage. Obviously roll one. So this one takes another uh, point of, of damage. And um, here the, um, the Ketrati, I'm going to... Are these velites here? Um, same same procedure. Ooh, very good. That's three hits. Now we roll for damage again. It is uh, four minus zero for four less. No, <laughs> so only one hit. One hit. Down. All right. All right. So that was the ranged attacks for the. Carthaginians. Now we do the um, now both both sides that are engaged attack. So we have one pair that are engaged, right? The cavalry on the Roman left. So these ones will battle it out. There is, by the way, a, a cheat sheet here for combat modifiers: attacking in the rear, attacking flank, charging cavalry, etc. But none of those have applied yet. So here we go. Here as convention, the side whose turn it is will attack first, but this is still simultaneous. So that each side will attack and then damage will be assessed simultaneously. So the Numidian cavalry are going to roll three dice and they have five minus two. So three or less are hits. Three or less are hits. Whoa. So three hits. Um, and the damage will be damage is uh, four minus one three. So three or less are dam well, there we go. Three three damage on the Italian cavalry. Now the Italian cavalry will attack back. They roll four and five to hit. So first, roll the four dice. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, so there to hit is the five. It's the uh, five there. Minus the Numidian Cavalry's, um, oops, three. Three, defense three. So five minus three is two. Okay. So the three did not hit. Still got three hits. Now roll for damage. Okay, so the Italian cavalry is uh, five minus the Numidian cavalry is one is four. So two hits. Two hits on the Numidian cavalry. Okay, all combat is done. Range combat and close combat. <clears throat> now we go through and assess damage. Do this right on the card, right? So we have the Velites take one loss. Gonna put a line through the first box there. They lost one green box. Here, we're gonna do something here. They have three hits. I'm gonna do is gonna go one and then two. And when a unit loses its last green box, it has to um, roll for uh, morale, basically. Um, not really sure when that's done. Maybe it's done at the end, I, I guess. Okay, so here's the third hit. There. So three hits on the Velites, and we know that he has a, a morale check to do. I'm not sure what they call it exactly in the game. This would be the same. The Italian Cavalry, one, two, three... And they lost their last green box, so they will <clears throat> also be doing a uh, morale check. Smitting cavalry lost 
two, there. All right. So now take that off. Now let's do this Italian Cavalry's morale check. Now, again, they lost their last green box, so they have to do a check. The, the check is this number right here. The flag is 11. There are some modifiers. There are some modifiers there, frightened in the yellow and the red. <clears throat> but you roll three dice. And you want to get that morale number or less. Um, so he made it just barely. 11. And his morale level is 11, so he passes for now. Okay, then we go to here. His morale is 10. Three dice. And he passes as well. Passes as well. And then, and he's no morale check required there. Okay, so there we assess damage, did morale checks, and now Garth Junior turns over. Now we come back to the Romans. Um, what movement? These guys are in range to fire. Um, yeah, I want to move. Want to move the Italian swordsman forward. So again, their movement is three point five right there. Three point five. It's alongside of a card. They cannot um, quite get to contact there. Um, these Velites, these Velites, let's say they're going to go like that, like that towards the cavalry over there, there's a cavalry over there, and then that cavalry, okay, so six inches is a long and a short. I'm going to start wheeling back. So we're going to go to the outside like that. Like that. It goes like that. Again, not quite in contact yet. All right. And the second line, Roman second line will just stay put. All right. So now we go to Roman attacks, which will be ranged attacks, and then all units that are engaged attacking. So do some ranged attack first. Um, they're engaged. These Velites have a range of five. These Velites have a range of five, so they'll each uh, shoot on the Ketradi there. All right, so the Velites, they roll three dice. Uh, all very high rolls, so, but their attack skill or, you know, capability, the attack value is 5, minus the Katrati's defense of 1 is 4. Okay, so only 1 hit. Roll for damage. We got a 4 minus uh, 0, so 4 less. Yep, rolls a 2, so that is 1 hit. Trotty there. The next Velite, three dice. It's one hit. Damage. Um, I think that's too high. Oh, wait. Five. No, no, five minus zero. So. Um. Oh, four. Four. Four minus zero. So five is too high. All right. Um, Italian swordsmen actually have that 3.5 range there. So they will attack the Catrati there. Um, they roll five with a two hit of five. Um, minus the Catrati's defensive one. So four or less will, will hit. <laughs> two hits and then for damage it's it's the five minus 
Uh, zero. So five or less. <laughs> One hit. <laughs> And here, um, yeah, the Velites are gonna do a range attack on the Numidian cavalry there. Yeah, definitely. So it's uh, three dice. Three, four, five. Um, so it's the five minus the three. Five minus three is two. Oh, so no hits. Um, okay, and then we go to again our our um, close combat here. So again, the Italian cavalry. So they have they are in the yellow right there. They lost all their green, they're in the yellow. So that will affect their... Oh yeah. So the way we, we look at this is, um, general, um, in the yellow means when you're attacking, it's one less dice and morale is minus one. So they attack with one less die. One less, yeah, you know. All right, so um, so instead of the instead of four dice, it's three. Ooh, three fives. <laughs> um, attack value of five minus the median cavalry defense. Yeah, those all miss. Um, yeah, so then. Numidian Cavalry, they attack with three still. Six, three, three. Their attack value is five. Five minus two is three, three or less, okay. So two hits to, to cause damage. They've got the four minus one. It's three, so three or less will be will cause damage. Oh, too high, no damage, so nothing there. All right, um, we'll go back and assess some damage here. Uh, yeah, damage. So these Katradi took one. Like that, and these ones also took one. Like that. Uh, not necessary, no uh, morale checks necessary because those were just the first green boxes. And that was the Roman turn. Okay, so we're using the quick start rules. Using the quick start rules from um, this game right here Battleground, Historical Warfare, Second Punic War. We have a, uh, a smaller. Um, smaller quick start Roman army on this side and a quick start Carthaginian army on the other side and uh, gone through basic movement mechanics um, all straightforward um, but interestingly we use a combination of long and short sides of the cards to measure which is pretty nice and handy and we've gone through the basics of attacking. Basics of attacking, uh, figuring out how many dice to roll, what you need to roll to hit, what you need to roll to, to cause damage, uh, range, um, morale level, movement, um, and uh, very, well, these are quick start rules, so you would expect them to be basic, straightforward, um, and uh, no doubt the visual appeal is quite nice. Um, there really are no complaints with the quality. Um, obviously they're glossy cards because uh, you're using a dry erase marker on them. 
um, great full overhead um, <laughs> graphics. Um, just great to look at. Um, and yeah, a lot of fun so far.